This is part of the lecture I gave uh, to the uh, PhD at the Einstein Center for Neurosciences. Principles of scientific posters. Step one, we need to set the size of our posters. Check the size requirement of the poster for your conference. Uh, to change your canvas size in PowerPoint, you go to design and then here's a uh, slide size. Click on it, custom slide size. If this message pop up, just click on uh, ensure fit. Then your text size will remain the same. The next thing is uh, to arrange your layout. Typically, there are two types of posters. Uh, one is horizontal landscape posters and the other one is portrait. Horizontal posters, usually they're either three columns or four columns. Portrait posters, they are uh, two columns. Just a quick plug-in, please like and subscribe this video and also comment below to let me know what you need to draw for your research. Now let's get back to the tutorial. In this case, we need to put two columns into our poster, draw two rectangles to indicate where the columns should be. Let me remove the fill. Shape format no fill. And how do I know these um, columns are at the right place? You can activate the grids on your canvas. So right click and then go to grids and guide. Then you can activate guidelines. These guidelines can help you to set where you want your contents to be. So now and title will be here. So title should be in sentence case without period. So that means only the first letter should be capitalized. The rest are just like how you see in a regular sentence. Second uh, row will be the authors. You also need another line that's affiliation like uh, which institute uh, these people are in. Then I will put in uh, the text body, uh, also like the subtitle. So the font size over here, uh, this is just like a rough guideline because the font size actually will change according to the size of your poster. Use sans serif fonts if this is a digital poster. Uh, if you want to use serif font, then use it in a text body. If you want to learn more about the fonts, check out this video. So when I say it was just like a general rule of thumb, you see that here, the title I use 80 uh, points. Uh, you need to adjust it according to the size of the poster. Okay, so now it's just like alignments and you see now the benefit of the grids. If you want to be like extra sure that they're aligned, you can use the um, arrange tool and here is the align tool you can align things to the top and see now these two are perfectly aligned uh, i would do that uh, for everything because i trust machine much better when you're importing the figures it's better to import them as vector images your images are very good for scaling that uh, they will not lose their resolution when you scale them up and down uh, whereas bitmap images, they lose their uh, re resolution when you make them bigger. Here, because I, I don't have the original figures, so these are screenshots. These will be the bad example that I can show you. Zoom in, everything is not that sharp anymore. So they're the exact same bar chart I made. When I'm scaling this one, everything will still stay very sharp. But if I scale this one, then you see things started to get blurry. So this is why you, uh, it's better to keep uh, all your vector images uh, as vectors. If you want to learn more about the vector and bitmap images, check out this video. For the title, I usually would just uh, apply uh, like a one single color underneath it. My principle about scientific poster is uh, less is more. So uh, just pick one main color, it's fine. It's okay to be boring in science. And these can be white now, and they should move upward. Uh, I know a lot of scientific posters, they center, center their title. Um, well, uh, I don't mind if you do that, uh, but personally, I like to align everything on the left. Uh, because you know like when you're when the rest of your texts are all aligned to the left then 
uh, I think visually uh, things will look more organized if you align things to the left. Then about the alignment of uh, your text body, I would I will also align to the left. And then uh, I know some people like to justify their text body. That means on the right side of the paragraph, everything is also aligned. I would recommend to only align everything to the left because this helps your viewer to know where the text begins. Uh, but if you want to justify your text body, that is also fine. Uh, it, is, it is not that strict. Put some like small supplementary information over here. Usually references are also here. Maybe now you can also put it into like a separate page and then use the QR code to link people over there. Um, I think that can give you more uh, space on your poster if that is allowed. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, these uh, figure blocks. Uh, they, they look a little bit floating if I just put them like this. So I, you know, like make a box to contain them. This is optional, but uh, just in case if you want to make everything more um, organized, make sure you guys also unify the space between your subtitle and, and your text body. Okay, and for these subtitles, uh, you, if you want to change them into the, the color of the main thing, uh, if you want to change them into the main theme color, also, that's very good. Just go for it. Uh, line space, 1.5 points wide. This is optional uh, because um, it really depends on like how much text you have, you know, if you have enough space. I would recommend to export it as PDF. So you can just come here, export, create, Adobe PDF, it can preserve the vector element in your poster. All the vector elements will be kept in good resolution. PowerPoint is not exactly the best software to make scientific posters because of the color mode. Uh, so if you guys uh, have watched my video about uh, the color mode, RGB and CMYK, then you will know that um, if you're printing things onto paper, then you need to use CMYK uh, colors. But uh, PowerPoint only support RGB, uh, as far as I know. Like I, I did some research and they say they only support RGB. If you're only presenting it digitally, then uh, PowerPoint is just fine. This is just like a part of what I did at the actual workshop. I hope this can help you with your poster making. Any questions, remark, you can connect with me with the social media down below. Give a thumbs up and also subscribe to Drawbar Matt for more of my videos. I'll see you there.